Hey everybody, welcome to the round 12 tipping video. Really excited to be sitting here after five tips last week. <laughs> really have to show up. Uh, I didn't want to film this. They're getting harder to film, to be honest. I'm getting less and less motivated because I know I'm not good, but I think that's probably the lesson in that. doesn't matter how good you're going, you still got to front up. So yeah, like I said last week, this is now just going to be a documentation of whoever else is up here on the on the leaderboard and and we'll celebrate them because it sure as hell ain't going to be me. <laughs> uh, sitting in first place, we have a leader and their name is Captain Carlton. Uh, congratulations, you are now leading the Blue Abroad tipping competition. Uh, send me a message. I don't know who you are. Shoot me a message and uh, and confirm with me. Uh, Jacob Kov is sitting in second place. Corey Leonard just doesn't go away. He just hangs around. He's sitting there in third Sam Allen in fourth and the Bluebird in fifth. It's getting tight. 75 tips is where the leader is. I'm sitting on 66, so I've got to make up nine. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Um, moving on, we've got games this week and there's a chunk of buys. So less games than what we're used to seeing, but nonetheless, uh, we're going to move forward. It's all, it all starts tonight. Friday night footy, it's the Dogs and it's the Cats at Marvel Stadium. I think this is going to be a one-kick game. I really do. I think this will be tight. Uh, my head says the Dogs, but my instinct says Geelong. And on this occasion, I'm going to go with Geelong. I don't know. I just There's something about the Dogs that doesn't sit right with me. There's just, just I know they've won three in a row. I don't know what it is. I'm just leaning to Geelong. Still think it's going to be a bit of a coin flip of a game and a result. I just think they're well or better rounded than what the dogs are around the ground. And I think uh, Hawkins and um, and Cameron under the roof, dry conditions, clean ball. Uh, and you got Gary Rowan who just slots in there. I think he'll, he it's his, it's his, uh, he's back in the side. So I don't know. I'm just going to go with Geelong and, and see what happens from there. Then we get to Saturday. It's the Crows and the Eagles at Adelaide Oval. This is a game that I expect the Crows to win in Adelaide. So it's a you know a good opponent for them to be playing in the Eagles, who we know have got their struggles. They're going to win a game soon. The Eagles, though, it's going to happen. I don't know if it, I don't think it's going to be this week, but they're going to win a game soon. Uh, nonetheless, the Crows they got Tex back in the side, and yeah, look, they're generally in my observations they're generally a better team in Adelaide uh, they play just a little with a little bit more comfort so I'm going to tip the Crows in this game that's at 145 then at 435 at TIO Stadium it's the Suns and North <laughs> I'm tipping North I don't know why it doesn't make sense something's been telling me all week that North are going to win this game I don't know I missed the tip last week when I tipped against the Suns. And in theory, they should win this game and not have any issues with it. They are well coached. They're, they're going okay. I don't know. I think when I saw the teams, I saw Levi Casbolt was out. And I say what you want about him. He, he, he shores them up moving forward. And I think that's going to be a bit of a struggle for them. You know, Ben Mackay's back in the side for North. And also North just need to win a game. They're, okay, they're, they're, going, they're not going very well, but they're not that bad they've still got plenty there so i'm gonna tip north melbourne in a bit of an upset and it's just a gut feeling that i've got about it um i don't have any really good reasons why i think they'll win other than i just feel it so this is the week i'm going to tip north melbourne and i hope i'm not sitting here next week saying what was i thinking but sometimes you've got to go with your instinct when it when it calls you so that's what i'm doing now then we move on, MCG, Saturday night, Melbourne and Sydney. I'm tipping the Ds. Um, the Swans will be solid as they always are. I just think there's there's too much going against them with their, their selections and their ins and their outs, especially with the Ds as well. So I think the Ds at the G, they'll bounce back and uh, you know they're a champion team. And I think we're living in the, the Melbourne, you know, the Melbourne dynasty era. You know, they'll get, they'll get, they might get, you know, 22,000 people there at the MCG, which is bemusing to me that the champs can't fill out the MCG on a home game on a, on a, on a Saturday night, but we'll just see if their fans turn out. Uh, then we get to Sunday, 2.10pm, it's Hawthorne and it's Collingwood. 
I'm tipping the Hawks, not because I'm hating on Collingwood. I just think, I just think you know the Hawks. They've got a couple of 250 game milestones. They're well coached. Uh, the Pies are riding high after beating two genuine top four contenders. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tip the Hawks in this one. And then it's Frio and the Lions at uh, 5:20 p.m. up at Optus Stadium. Coin flip for me, but because it's in Perth. I'm going to tip Frio, and that's really how I'm looking at it. I think if this was at the Gabba, I'd probably tip the Lions, and I just think it's going to be a bit of a coin flip situation again, and therefore, I'll tip the Dockers. They're a great side. Oh, yeah, they're a good to great side, especially at home, as we've come to find out this year, and um, yeah, they're, they're going well. So I'll tip the Dockers in this one, and, and that's it. Bit of a shorter one this week, less games, but uh, let me know how you're going with your tipping, and and let me know what your tips are in the comments below and good luck.